Welcome back. This is a quick video to show you one of the sites that I tend to use to download free datasets from. I will put this link in the description box below. So this is on the databank.worldbank.org website. And on this website, you can choose from 76 databases. So topics ranging from education statistics, gender statistics, job enterprise surveys, as well as human capital index. So a wide range of topics you can choose from. So the first step to download your data set should be to choose a database of your choice. So here I'm selecting the education statistics. Now you're going to click on this inverted triangle Next is to select your country of choice. Here again, you have 271 that you can choose from. I'm going to select United States. Next step is series. Now the series are basically the different topics, the different variables from this database. So the database that you choose in step one makes a big difference to the topics that are listed here. Now, it's also important to keep in mind that values for all these topics may not be present. So some of the values could be missing. If you tend to see a lot of missing values, then you should go back to the database and choose another one, or you can select another country. So here to be on the safe side, there are 3,807 topics that I can choose, but I'm going to select all of them by clicking on this option right here. So selecting all. Then I'm going to hide this box. Next step is your time. Now here you can choose from the last five, the last 10, the last 15, but the years I noticed don't seem correct. So to be on the safe side, we can choose all of them and later filter it in Excel. Or if you like, you can select the years that you want. I'm just selecting all of it. So now once all of these selections are made on the left hand side, you're going to click on apply changes. So this takes a little time based on the database and the series that you have chosen. If you select a lot of topics, a lot of databases, this can take a little bit of time. Now, since I tend to use Excel, um, I'm going to download this data set in Excel format. So on your top right corner, you're going to see your download options. You can, of course, always download it as a CSV file because CSV files open up with Excel as well. So later after it opens up, you can save it as an Excel file extension. But here I'm going to select Excel because that option is available. So this is how the file looks when I first download it and open it up. All the cells containing the dots are basically missing values. Of course, this data set has to be clean. Let's just do a quick run through. So here in the first column, you have the country name, then you have your country code. So I would choose to just delete the country code because the first column is giving me that information. Series code is basically all the different topics or the variables in this file or in this database. So I'm going to keep that. The third column where it says series code, I choose to delete that because I have the series column which gives me the details that I need. Now here the year starts from 1987, but I noticed that this is not organized the way that I would like to see it. Because here there's 1987 followed by a parenthesis and the year 1987 repeated. So before I use this for analysis, I would of course clean this up. I would write 1987 and I would do autofill all the way across. I will end here because the rest of the cells seem to be empty. And I will do fill series. And this, the rest of the cells, you can then go ahead and delete them. Now here, you have another choice. All of these series with missing values, you can choose to delete them by selecting the rows and then hitting delete or so this process would continue on until you know you eliminate most of the cells that have missing data okay so this is one quick easy tutorial on how to download a data set from a free data source now the nice thing about this file is it also comes with metadata 
So all the topics that you have seen in your second column here, they have additional information. So the long definition of the series name and the source where it came from. So this is useful information as well.